How can you possibly keep up with everything you need to do in an affiliate promotion? Well, the answer lies in something so simple, it's almost easy to ignore. And today I'm going to show you how I use a simple checklist to make 100% sure I'm covering all the bases and getting the most out of each affiliate promotion I do. And I'm going to share with you how you can do it too. And if you're running an affiliate program, I'm going to show you how to get the most from your affiliates. Welcome to the Affiliate Guy podcast. If you want to grow your income, serve your tribe, and enjoy all the benefits of affiliate marketing and having your own affiliates, you're in the right place. Thanks for joining me today. Now let's get started. So I've been doing affiliate promotions and running affiliate promotions, uh, gosh, for well, fifth, almost 15 years now. <laughs> it's been a long time. Um, I mean, I've been running affiliate programs for that long. I've been promoting affiliate offers for that long. And when I first started, and actually I continued this for about seven, seven or eight years, it's probably about 2013, when I finally got a little bit more organized, I basically just did every affiliate promotion, whether I was running it or whether I was um, actually promoting something, I, I did it by the seat of my pants. So basically, every time I was promoting an affiliate offer, I just made up a new promotion strategy. Like if I even had a promotion strategy at all when I was first starting. And if I was running an affiliate program, running an affiliate promotion, I basically was making up a new, you know, a new sequence every single time. And sometimes it worked. Sometimes it worked really well. Sometimes it didn't work. The issue was I never really had anything to guide me to you know, take what I learned from the last one, apply it to the next one. I never really had, I uh, never really had consistency. I needed more consistency. And then I kind of thought after a, a few years, I was like, I'm the only one who's like this. <laughs> I am the only one who's this unorganized, this just discombobulated, has no idea what the heck I'm doing, you know, half the time. And I feel like I'm having to, it really, it was just a lot of work. You know, I had to sit down and create this, this plan for each promo and it was just a lot of work. And then as an affiliate manager, I felt like I just wasn't getting the most from my affiliates. And we'll talk more about that part later, but around 2012, 2013, I started hearing from other affiliates, like every single launch that we either ran or that we promoted, people would be like, okay, how can I stay on track you know, how can I stay on track each day of this promo? Uh, I started getting questions from affiliates like, do you have some sort of a checklist? You know, like, what am I supposed to do each day? Um, one of the ones that I got, I remember specifically was like, yeah, is there something I can share with my team that just shows them what to do every day? Uh, started people like, people be like, okay, I have a goal. I'm going to finish top 10. Like, what do I need to do every day? You know, like, what? just tell me what to do. And so after getting that question enough times, I was like, well, I, you know, I probably need to create a checklist. You know, like well, I'm a huge fan of checklists, which kind of surprises a lot of people. I'm a, uh, if you know the disc profile, I'm a, I'm a high D. So I'm actually all pretty much all D I. Um, if you know, um, you know, the type A type B personalities, I'm, I'm type A. I uh, was diagnosed with ADHD as a child, right? And so I have a tendency to forget to do simple things. I have a tendency not to really do the basics and get caught up in making things complicated. You know, I'm a big picture thinker. I'm a big picture thinker. I like being at the 30,000 foot level, you know, looking down. I don't like details. And so Ironically, that's why I love checklists because they allow me to have a clear picture right in front of me of all the small tasks, the steps that I need to take each day. So every time I do an affiliate promotion, whether I'm running it, whether I'm uh, you know giving this to affiliates who need a checklist, whether I'm uh, you know promoting something, I need a checklist. And so this checklist that we're going to talk about today, and I'm going to share how you can get a copy of it. Uh, totally free because and, and we'll talk about this later, but it's editable. You can add stuff to it. It's not like it's set in stone. Um, I, I really just made it for me. I made it for me and my team. Um, and then over time, I was like, wait, the people who are promoting our clients programs 
and our affiliate programs, they could use this. So let me give this, as I started creating it for them, um, you know, and ultimately I made it for you. You know, I made it for you because I, the more people that have this, uh, the better. You know, I'm a big believer in the, the concept of like, people think in internet marketing that we're all competitors and I don't look at it that way. I'm a big believer in the concept that as the high tide rises, all the ships do. And I believe that the better job you do as a marketer actually helps me. People wonder sometimes, like, why do you share your strategies? You know, especially when you share them for free. And I'm like, because I want other people who run affiliate programs to do better. Yeah, but that's a competitive edge for you. Like you share your secrets, right? Yeah, but that's a competitive edge. I'm like, no, no, no. What you don't understand is in many cases, this industry has a bad reputation. People look down on marketers and especially internet marketers. I want them to see another internet marketer and go, oh, they're cool. You know, every other one I've ever interacted with is cool. So I want people to learn this stuff because it benefits me. <laughs> you know, I'm being honest. Like that's the number one reason. Yes, I, I want you to succeed. Yes, I want to serve people. I, ultimately, I, it benefits me. And I think when we when our industries rise, then we all benefit. It's the same thing. Like if you if you I don't know when did toothpaste become a thing. I don't know a hundred years ago, two hundred years ago, whatever. Let's just say it was like hundred and fifty years ago. And if you were so hyper competitive that you didn't allow the industry as a whole to rise and you made toothpaste. Yeah. You had a hundred percent of the market, but you know, only 20,000 people used toothpaste. You think about that. Whereas, yeah, you had a hundred percent, only 20,000 people. Now, if a million people use toothpaste and you only have 10%, that's a hundred thousand people. You have five times more people using your product. So that's why we share these things. Um, so that's why I'm sharing this with you today is like, I want you to get this checklist and I want you to be able to use it. And I want you to be able to do better in your affiliate promotions and better in running your affiliate, you know, programs, uh, because it helps the whole industry. And so the thing about affiliate promotions, whether you're running your own program, uh, whether you're, you know, promoting something, whether it's a launch, whether it's evergreen, there are so many moving parts. You've got, uh, just as a, as as, a, as an affiliate, you've got email, social media, uh, podcasts. You've got videos within social media. You've got Facebook and Twitter. And I'm afraid to even mention social media networks right now because they're going to change in seven minutes. I mean, parlors like the new thing now, and you know, TikTok's the big new thing. I had a friend of mine text me yesterday, just as a side note. Um, you know, I interviewed Jeff Bullis a while back. Uh, it was a few episodes ago. And he talked about TikTok. I had a friend of mine. Let me pull up. I'm going to pull up this text message. This was just mind blowing. I got this yesterday and he texted me and said, sent, sent me a, a link to a TikTok video, said 1.5 million views in 24 hours, 265,000 likes, 2,100 comments in his sales. He runs a prenatal protein company called Baby Booster. Highly recommend you check them out. By the way, I actually use the stuff. It's a it's a really clean protein. That's why I use it. Um, by the way, Hunter, uh, if you're listening, you owe me $100 for that ad there. Um, but yeah, seriously, check it out if you're looking for a good protein powder. He said sales were up 10 times. Sales up 10x from a single TikTok video. Like, that's insane. And so th this stuff is constantly changing. I'm almost afraid to mention that. And this is kind of the point is like, when you see this checklist, it, you know, you can edit it. You can go in. If, if you look at the original version, we found the original version the other day. It had Periscope on there. And what was the other thing? Oh, Google Plus. It had Periscope and Google Plus on there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so funny because those don't even exist anymore, really. And so if you're anything like me, it's easy to forget to use each of these tools during an affiliate promotion. If I don't have this checklist, I will forget to post on Facebook about stuff. I might not schedule any tweets. Um, I might even, I'll never forget to send an email personally. You might, I, I won't. I might not think, you know, I should talk about this on the podcast. So if we're promoting something and I don't have the checklist and maybe I'm not doing an interview with the, the creator, you know, we just did an interview with Jason and Cecilia Hilke about virtual summits. That's for a promo they have come up. We just finished the, the Quiz Funnel Masterclass promo with Ryan Levesque, and I interviewed him. We interviewed Stu McLaren 
earlier this year for his promo, uh, we've, you know, we, a lot of times we do podcast interviews leading into a promotion, but what if I'm not doing that? Maybe, maybe it's for a company where I don't have access to the person, you know, Stu and Ryan, Jason, you know, Jason and Cecilia, they're friends. Um, I don't know the creators of every single product that we promote. Maybe I, uh, maybe I just can't schedule it. You know, they just don't have time. And so I go, well, I guess I'm not doing anything on the podcast. Well, why not? Why don't I just do a quick little two or three minute mention? Why don't I create some content around that and talk about it for a few minutes on the podcast? I, I, will, I will forget to do that if I don't have the checklist. And then as we get into the promotion, you know, and I have things I need to do, something breaks on my website. Uh, a team member gets sick. You know, life gets in the way. One of the kids, you know, whatever. Something go like stuff happens, right? Stuff happens that causes you to forget about the details of a promotion, which costs you money. And it's these little details whether you post on Facebook, whether you remember to run your ads, you know, sometimes it's just as simple as if all you do is take the opt-in list and I've got podcasts on how to use opt-in list, little thing like remembering to take your opt-in list. Let's just say you even have just a hundred opt-ins and running retargeting ads to those folks on Facebook. You're going to spend five bucks. You couldn't spend 10 bucks if you tried and you run some retargeting ads. And it gets you one more sale that makes you a $500 commission. You spent 10 bucks, five bucks, whatever, to generate $500. And if you forget to do that in every single promotion and you, and you do 10 of these a year, that's $5,000 a year. It's these little details that can make the difference in thousands of dollars in commissions. And the funny thing is, none of these little things take that much time by themselves. You just need to be reminded of them. So like I said, I created this, this checklist. Um, I think I'll share here in a moment how you can get the, just the template and you can edit it and all that. I just created it to help myself stay on track during an affiliate promotion. And when you look at it, like when you look at the, you know, the, when you look at it, when you get your copy, I mean, it seems it's so simple. It's so basic. That's because it is. It's meant to be easy to use, easy to replicate. And so we created it to be simple so that when we have a client who's promoting, you know, we have, we're running their promotion and then we have ours and then we have another one, we can easily just go boom, boom, copy, paste, done. You know, copy, paste, edit, add this social media network that came up between, you know, the last time and now. Okay, boom. And we'll have a quick meeting. Do we, what, is there anything we need to add? You know, do we're going to do a podcast. Okay, great. Yeah, we're going to do a podcast. And you'll see that like, it'll say like podcast mention for each of the days of the promo. You may only have a weekly podcast. You're not going to mention it every day, but at least it reminds you. And you may decide to look at the checklist and go, no, we're not doing a Facebook post about that today. Cool. You decided not to, you didn't forget to. And so throughout the promotion, it just shows you what to do every day, day by day. Again, you can easily edit it to make it specific to each promotion. And so this checklist, just make sure you don't forget the little things you need to do each and every day of the promotion. So if you want to grab your copy, just go to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash promo checklist. I'll put a link in the show notes, mattmcwilliams.com forward slash promo checklist, and that'll help you take your promo to the next level. So when you look at, I'm just going to pick one day here. Let's see, I'm going to pick uh, PLC one day. So it'll have a spot for the date. You can put a description, the title. And on PLC one, for example, it'll say email on date, email to unopens on date. That's a big thing. A lot of people forget in an affiliate promotion, like, oh yeah, email to unopens. It has a checklist spot for blog post, podcast mention, Facebook and Instagram, um, mention, um, a Facebook post, a dedicated Facebook post, a Twitter, uh, some Twitter posts, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Instagram, other And again, it's totally editable. It's in a Google Doc, so you can add whatever you want. And this is important because if you don't have a podcast, well, then delete the podcast thing just completely. There's no point in putting it on there. If you're not on Pinterest, like I'm not, you know, don't put Pinterest on there. Just delete it. If you're getting on a new social, you know, we don't have TikTok on there yet. 
We don't have parlor on there yet either. You know, you may want to add those if you're getting on there. And so if you're running an affiliate program, this is by far the simplest way to get more out of your affiliate partners. You know, during a launch, uh, during any type of, it uh, doesn't have to be a launch, it could be a big promo push that you're doing, uh, a sale that you're doing, you know, with your affiliate program, some sort of a, a one or two week sprint. It is one thing to get an affiliate to send an email or two. It is another to get them to go all in for your launch. And so if you know this feeling where, you know, you, you get you get someone to commit to promoting your launch or your promo or just signing up for your affiliate program. Like you're really excited, right? You, you're like, they're going to send a bunch of emails. They're going to share on social media. They're going to mention on the podcast. They're going to post on Facebook. They're going to do a Facebook live. They're going to do this. And they're going to send unopened and it never works out that way. The, the reason is they have their own businesses to run. They have their own marketing to worry about. They have their own lives to manage. I mean, life can get busy and messy like we were talking about. And so your, your launch, your promo just gets lost in the shuffle. But when you have a launch, you know, typical launch sequences, I, I, last we checked, it was 16.7 days long. Um, so we'll just call it 17 days. During a promo, maybe you have a one-week sale. Like you need your affiliates operating on all cylinders for you. And we used to have this problem of affiliates just backing off with their promotions during launches. They'd send a few emails and like we'd see this flurry for like five days and then they would disappear because they got overwhelmed. They got distracted. They didn't know the next right thing to do. The reality is your launch, your promo, your, your business is not their number one priority. I mean, like it probably falls somewhere between like get the oil changed and like update your Netflix preferences, right? I mean, it's, it's not a priority. So why does this checklist work? Simply put, because people like things to be simple. If you're running an affiliate program, you know, you have affiliates, probably the overwhelming majority of them, they just operate better using a checklist. And so what this does, let's just say it's for a launch, but it could be for a promo. It could be for a whatever. It puts the entire launch right in front of the affiliates, encourages them to do more for each piece of content for each day of the launch than just send an email. Email is king. It probably always will be, but you can get some great results from social media, from podcasts, especially if they're sharing the, the free, you know, pre-launch content. And so by keeping everything right in front of your affiliates, what we know, we used to call it the, the mid-launch dropout. These are people who come out of the gate swinging like, I'm so excited. I'm number four on the leaderboard. And then it's like, then they're number five, number six, number seven, number eight, and they just completely disappear. We noticed when we give them this checklist, significant drop in mid-launch dropouts, meaning mid-launch dropouts go from like half the people to, you know, virtually none. And so I'm going to share some results with you. This is, you know, if you're running an affiliate program, this is going to, these are going to blow your mind. Simple checklist. And you can go download it at mattmcwilliams.com forward slash promo checklist. Uh, you can edit it, slap your logo on the top and call it your own. I'm totally cool with that. I want you to succeed with this. So I don't, I don't really care. You know, do that. Totally cool with that. Um, first launch we used it in, we noticed a 14% increase in active affiliates. 14% less affiliates were inactive. We noticed a 7% increase in email sent. Now that's not a huge increase, but this is by giving them a flip and checklist. It's a PDF that took us like five minutes to put together and we got 7%. The real uptick was Twitter mentions. We saw a dramatic increase in those. We saw an 89% increase in those. We didn't measure any other channels, but we assumed those were up as well. In that first launch. In the second launch that we ran, now these are comparing where we didn't use the checklist before to when we used it. In the second one, we had a 19% increase in active affiliates. We had a 14% increase in emails sent. And this time we measured Facebook mentions. We saw a 44% increase in Facebook mentions. That one, we actually measured sales now, there were other factors, but sales were up about 30%. And 
And we also had a bunch of affiliates, like they were saying, dude, I never thought about um, adding like a commercial to my podcast, but I did. You know, we trained them on that and we put it in the checklist. And so what they would do is they, you know, like imagine right now, I'm not, we're not promoting anything. Actually, we are, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't fit here. But I could right now just say, hey, uh, and by the way, I mentioned Jason and Cecilia Hilke. So this is totally not planned, but I could say, um, you know, I could like insert a commercial here, put some music behind it. I'm not going to do that because I don't really want to. Uh, <laughs> but I could say, you know, and just a reminder, uh, if you're listening to this podcast and it's before, you know, July 10th. 2020, um, and you want to learn my second favorite way to grow an email list behind uh, having an affiliate program, go to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash summit workshop. I haven't even checked to see if that's the URL. And if it's not, I'm going to have to go create that pretty link after <laughs> after this. Um, mattmcwilliams.com forward slash summit workshop. My friends, Jason and Cecilia Hookie, they're also clients in our Your Affiliate Launch Coach program. Uh, they are running a workshop on how their last summit, they got 104,000 people on their email list from a virtual summit in the parenting niche. And I would write a script for that. And I would actually go through and say something, you know, I've done this before. If you go back and listen to like some old, old podcast, I did that. And I put, it was like a little one minute commercial almost. And so this checklist, we heard from people, um, who did that. They were like, I never even thought to do that. And they would just, they'd be recording a podcast episode about, you know, I don't know how to, run faster. And they'd be like, Hey, by the way, Michael Hyatt has a goal setting program. Go to, you know, blah, 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 blah. And they'd mention the URL and they would get opt-ins from that. Crazy. Right. And so what we noticed in the first two launches as a result of the checklist, we had a 15 and a 22% increase in opt-ins and almost a similar number in sales. We had a 13 and a 23% increase in sales as a result of using the checklist. Total for those two launches, that was more than a half a million in sales from a simple checklist. And so I sort of covered this earlier, but you don't have to create a new template, a new checklist every time you do a promo. You like We use the same format. We use the same format. All you do is switch out the dates, maybe some titles, but it's basically the same format. Like there's no need to reinvent the wheel. So like I said, it's an editable, edited, editable? That didn't sound right in my head. Editable, that still doesn't sound right. (laughs) Um, Editable Google Doc. So you can just jump in, um, you know, make a copy and edit it to fit your needs. So uh, create a template. Like I said, slap your logo on, share with your affiliates. Um, use it for your own affiliate promos. Again, you can get it at mattmcwilliams.com forward slash promo checklist. mattmcwilliams.com forward slash promo checklist. We'll put the link in the show notes. So go check that out. Start using it for your affiliate promotions and uh, for your affiliates. And I will see you in the next episode. I've got a new friend on. His name is Mike Michalowicz. You may have heard of him. Uh, the author of Profit First, uh, originally the toilet paper entrepreneur. And oh my gosh, I forget his other book, but it, uh, I read it too. And that's the sad part. But I love Profit First. I mean, that that book like bleh, completely changed um, everything in our business. And he's got a new book out called Fix This Next. Really cool perspective on you know, exactly how to approach problem solving in your business. And uh, so if you don't know Mike, uh, you know, how you spell his last name, I don't even know. Um, (laughs) But look up Mike Michalowicz. You spell it phonetically, you'll probably end up with the right guy. Uh, And we'll be interviewing him uh, coming up here on the next episode. So I'm really excited about that. So with that, we'll wrap up. Go grab that promo checklist at mattmcwilliams.com forward slash promo checklist. And I'll see you in the next episode with Mike Michalowicz. Thank you so much for listening today. Remember to check out all of our deep dives into affiliate marketing at theaffiliateguide.tv. And if you have a question, ask it at asktheaffiliateguide.com. Who knows? Maybe you even be featured on an upcoming episode. And lastly, if you haven't yet, make sure to leave a rating and review wherever you're listening to this episode. See you soon.